Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Bachelorette's demonstrators lies ensure he'll never return to Bachelor Nation. The Bachelorette Season 21's final rose recipient, Devonstrator, may not have wound up with Jen Tran in the end, but with his past coming back to haunt him, he may not even end up with another chance on a Bachelor Nation show. Devin, who wound up with Jen at the end of The Bachelorette Season 21, was a front-runner from early on in the season. While many struggled to get behind Devin as a winner pick because of his penchant for drama, it was obvious that Jen liked him and felt there was some potential longevity to their relationship. Devin made it to the end of the season and with a mutual proposal from both him and Jen, it seemed like things were finally going to work out in his favor. Unfortunately, just weeks after the proposal, Jen and Devin called off their engagement in a series of text messages that were prompted by Devin. Shared online after the live final, Devin was trying to make it clear he wasn't the villain in the situation while doubling down that he was, in fact, the villain in the situation. After some serious allegations came out, Devin's doing worse than ever. Although Devin had already appeared on The Bachelorette when the news came out that he had criminal charges lodged against him in the past, it was a shock to Bachelor Nation. Devin's ex-girlfriend filed a restraining order against him in 2017 and in police documents that explained in detail what had happened between the former couple. It was clear Devin wasn't the nice guy he appeared to be on TV. The restraining order against Devin explained that he continually led himself into his ex's home and got physically violent with her more than once, resulting in him receiving several charges. While the court documents are on public record, detailing the charges against Devin and the complaints made continuously by his ex-girlfriend, the former baccalaureate star tried to explain that he wasn't at fault. Devin released a statement saying that the rumors about his criminal past simply weren't true. Even with the availability of the court documents proving that he had a restraining order against him, Devin still tried to say they weren't true. While there were definitely places his ex could have fabricated things, the court documents made it clear that Devin pleaded guilty to the charges he received. While he didn't receive any jail time, Devin completed court-appointed community service, paid several fines, and agreed to respect the restraining order against him in front of a judge. Lying about his past didn't work for the one-time baccalaureate fiance, but he attempted to do so anyway. Although Devin tried to lie about his past to curry favor with Bachelor Nation, it quickly became clear that his PR nightmare had turned into a crisis of major proportions. Devin's lies about his innocence were quickly debunked, but his actions have already left a stain on his poor reputation. Devin's lies about his past will ultimately remove him from the running of any possible Bachelor Nation appearances in the future. Though they may not have wanted the Baccalaureate star as it is, now he's likely blacklisted from the franchise for trying to get away with something so slimy. Devin Strader had always been a polarizing figure in Bachelor Nation. From the moment he stepped out of the limo on asterisk, the baccalaureate asterisk, his confidence was palpable, too palpable for some. His slick smile, expensive suit, and perfectly rehearsed compliments made him look like he belonged more in a boardroom than vying for someone's heart on reality TV. But that was just the beginning. For a while, Devin played the game well. He mingled with the other men, tossed out a few quips, and charmed Jen Tran, the season's baccalaureate, with what appeared to be heartful conversations. He had a way with words that could make anyone believe in the sincerity of his emotions, if only for a moment. He presented himself as the good guy, a man who had his life together and was genuinely ready for love. But behind that polished exterior, cracks were beginning to show. Devin's mask was slipping, and Bachelor Nation would soon learn that he was hiding a tangled web of deceit. Rumors began swirling early in the season, particularly among the other contestants. Whispers of something off about Devin started to circulate. Some of the men claimed that Devin wasn't who he said he was, that his stories didn't add up. One contestant, a quiet and observant man named Jake, pulled Jen aside during a group date and shared his concerns. 
I don't want to cause drama, he had said, but I think you should know that Devin hasn't been honest about his past. He's been telling different stories to different people, and things just don't line up. Jen, always wanting to give people the benefit of the doubt, brushed off Jake's concerns at first. After all, Devin had been nothing but kind and considerate toward her. But as the weeks went on, Jen couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The more she tried to dig into Devin's past, the more evasive he became. One moment, he would tell her about growing up in a small town, humble and hardworking, only for the story to change days later. Suddenly, he was raised in a wealthy suburb, attending private schools and vacationing in Europe as a child. Which was the truth? Who was Devin Strader? The tension boiled over during a heated cocktail party. Jake, along with two other men, confronted Devin in front of Jen. We know you're lying, Jake said, his voice sharp. You're not who you say you are, and you owe Jen the truth. Devin's smile faltered for the first time. His usual charm and composure seemed to evaporate under the pressure. Jen stood silently, her arms crossed, waiting for an explanation. Look, I don't know what you guys are talking about, Devin stammered, his eyes darting around the room. I've been honest from the start. Jen knows who I am. But Jen didn't know who Devin was, not really. And in that moment, she realized it. The show's producers had been aware of the situation for weeks. They had caught wind of the rumors about Devin and had started their own investigation. What they uncovered was shocking, even by reality TV standards. It turned out that Devin's entire persona had been crafted to fit a narrative he thought would make him a fan favorite. He had exaggerated his upbringing, fabricated his career achievements, and even lied about being single when he was cast on the show. Bachelor Nation was furious when it was revealed that Devin had been in a relationship with a woman back home, a relationship that had ended only after his girlfriend found out about his upcoming appearance on Asterisk, the Bachelor at Asterisk. The producers decided to confront Devin with the evidence on camera. In one of the most dramatic moments of the season, Devin was brought into a private interview with the show's host. His face went pale as the host laid out everything that had been discovered. The lies about his family, the fake career milestones, and the girlfriend he had conveniently omitted from his story. Devin tried to talk his way out of it, spinning a tale about how he and his ex had been on a break when he applied to the show, but no one was buying it. The damage was done. Jen, heartbroken and angry, confronted Devin one last time before sending him home. You had every chance to be honest with me, she said, her voice trembling with emotion. But you chose to lie, over and over again. I can't be with someone I don't trust. Devin's exit from the show was a spectacle in itself. As he was escorted to the waiting SUV, cameras captured the moment he removed his mick and stormed off into the darkness, muttering about how unfair it all was. Bachelor Nation erupted in outrage. Social media was flooded with posts condemning Devin's actions, and fans demanded that he never be allowed back in the franchise. His once-polished image was now in tatters. In the days following the episode's airing, more revelations came to light. Former colleagues of Devin's came forward to share stories of his manipulation and dishonesty in the workplace.